Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are going to look at the S&P 500, how it performed the last five trading days and uh, how it most likely will perform in the coming uh, trading week. So last Monday we hit the 20 exponential moving average and it bounced up that um, support level. Uh, we have quite a bull run um, since then. But I do not believe that this is going to last. We can see there is a big gap here. We also have the 200 moving average uh, um, uh, above. And we also have the 3000 um, point here. So I do not believe that this will um, this bull run will continue. It will most likely uh, hit the 200 moving average and then go back down. Um, subsequently, if we take our uh, Fibonacci tool, here we can also see that we are uh, in the area of the 61.8 uh, retracement and and uh, I would expect on Monday that we will open uh, quite lower. We may go higher and hit the 200 uh, moving average, but there's just no uh, connection between the stock market and the real economy at the moment. Um, the stock market is in a universe of its own. And uh, probably the reason for that is because uh, the, the, uh, the Fed is pumping uh, money into the system and uh, buying everything that is technically up for grabs. Um, subsequently, I don't think the market has, um, has uh, truly grasped the situa situation of the market at the moment because there is uh, unemployment claims was around 30 million and the unemployment rate is, uh, is above 14 percent which is the highest since the great depression and though the market is behaving like like uh, the economy is uh, booming and that is definitely not the case there has to be some kind of relations between the economy, how companies are doing, and and the stock market. Um, so I do believe that we will go a little bit higher, but at some point we will go lower. We probably won't go low as low as we did in in the end of March, uh, but I'm I'm fairly confident that we'll go at least a. Uh, uh, 50% down from this area and land around to uh, 2,600 area there above. And then we'll start to go higher. Uh, this will be a long recovery. This will not be a V-shaped recovery or a, or a W-shaped recovery and so on. We will see this uh, the economy uh, going back and forth, back and forth, for quite a long time and probably the reason because um, the coronavirus is, is still out there and and uh, and we will most likely have a second wave and we'll most likely also have a third wave and that will um, have a devastating uh, impact on on airlines on restaurants and hotels and uh, cruise liners and so on um, the economy is going to change, and um, and we can already see it by by people investing in Amazon and and the tech companies and so on that um, that the future of the world economy will mostly be online, and uh, there's also where people are putting their money. So if we go and look at uh, the MACD, we can see that the MACD is about to cross uh, the signal line indicating that we will go lower from here. Um, uh, but it may take a few more days, but I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll go lower from here. Because as I said, there's a, there's a gap here. There is the uh, 200 moving average. We have the Fibonacci retracement. And we also have an indication of the MACD that we will most likely go lower. Subsequently, we can look at the Bollinger Bands. We are about to hit the, the top of the Bollinger Band. So something that is um, worrying me, and that is that there is not a lot of volume in this market. 
And that may well be that the big actors are not getting involved, at least yet. So we can see that the volume here is uh, similar to the volume before we had this massive sell-off. And the volume has just been decreasing ever since. So we may well see uh, we may well see that this um, this uh, bull run is running out of steam, and we are about to go lower before we go higher. So hope you enjoyed this uh, technical analysis, and um, happy trading, and please subscribe to our channel.